Alright, hey guys, how you doing? Um, I just watched some of the video responses and read some of the comments and uh, realized I got torn a new one. Um, let's see, first thing, I want to say thank you to everyone who responded, you know, comments, videos, that's awesome. <coughs> um, but I did, you know, kind of want to defend myself just a little here. Um, I do want to say I know it's perfectly wrong. Knives are not allowed in school. I totally understand that. I agree with um, having the police come in and deal with the situation because, as I believe it was up down mostly, he pointed out, you know, you don't know what the kids got out of it. All right, but I don't agree with the actions taken after the situation was under control. I just, I guess I look at it as, you know, he's young and um, I know really it's the parents fault. Um, he is a, I don't know, probably is not exposed to what he should be or street smart if you will. I guess I just view it as, a, like, his mom and dad separated about a year ago, and so uh, he's never really properly been educated, no one spent time with him, and, you know, some of you are going to say, well, it's still his fault, but, you know, no one's ever explained or no one's taken time to... I mean, he just doesn't have the access to learn what he should be and what you guys would expect. You know what I mean? I don't want to sound like I'm making an excuse. I'm just, like, it's rough. I don't, you know, it's rough to describe the situation, I guess. I know I'm probably going to get raped on that, too. But, uh, the... A few things I did want to talk about is SS Groupie. I did want to say thank you for replying, even though you were sick. Um, but you likened a one-inch knife to a gun, and you can't do that. I mean, there is a totally different situation than a gun and a knife. Um, I don't want you guys to think I get mad or anything, because, you know, I'm here, I just want to look at viewpoints, you know, I'm still going to watch your videos, whatever, you know, it's all good, um, let's see, how do they know, or he should, someone, one of you guys said, I, you know, just watched four videos, I can't really keep track, one of you guys said, how do they know he didn't have a gun, you know, that's why they handcuffed him to take it out, well, you know, I don't know the exact details, but, I would expect that they would search him, and I mean, I understand, you know, cops do have a tough job, don't get me wrong, but I guess I just don't see, in general, anyone, good kid, you know, no trouble at all, no legal trouble, no trouble in school, no detentions, no nothing, I just... Regardless who he is, you know, if they search his stuff, they find a very small pocket knife, and that's it, um, then I think you can, you know, bring the situation from here down to here a little. You know, you still gotta give him disciplinary action, that's fine. Um, of course, you should be suspended. Even if you want to go with the handcuffs, you know, that's fine. But, you know, you got to de-escalate de the level of intensity. I mean, once you find out that's all that's there... ...and that he does not have any bad intentions or anything... Um, from that point on is where, I don't know, 
I mean, I'm not really that upset about it. You know, I <laughs> mean, but um, I just want to stress, you know, I don't want you guys to think. I mean, you guys could there and just destroy me and just say whatever. And I'd be like, all right, you know, that's your viewpoint. I'm really understandable. Um, last thing is, um, Groupie, you went through a lot of trouble to look up uh, killings in Ohio. You're right, I'm near Cleveland. Or, not killings, but, you know, school violence. But you lack to look up... Um, carrying a knife is not a concealed weapon, I believe, unless it's over four inches. Um, because, I mean, that's it. You know, people have pocket knives and stuff. That's... It's not the law that if you have a knife, it's a concealed weapon. The blade itself has to be over what I believe is four inches long in order for it to be classified as a... What I believe the felony charges for is just having a weapon in school, which uh, I'm not really feeling. I don't know. I just think maybe if you guys knew the situation a little better, you know, he, in, in fact, is not a bad kid, you know, no violence, nothing like that, uh, just, you know, it, I just guess I feel he needs to be punished, but like that, like you're almost punishing the raw, like, it's the parents that, you know, need, hey, you, you know, you gotta start teaching your kid, you know, what's wrong and what's right, and, you know, he didn't think he was wrong, he just figured he'd bring it in to be cool. His dad always has one on him, so, but, I do, you know, I do realize that you do have to take safety into consideration, but I just, the two-year suspension, what it is is, um, it's about the end of the second quarter, and so he will be suspended for the third and fourth quarter of this year, and first and second quarter of next year, so he fails two years, which I don't feel is right, and um, I do think, I want you guys to understand, you know, you do have to act in the best interest of everyone around you, you know, safety of a thousand kids is much more important than the safety of the kid that's in the wrong with the knife, I understand that. <coughs> I do view both sides of the, you know, both sides, but I guess, um, I just disagree with the results, yeah, but thanks for watching, and uh, I mean, feel free to respond to this if you want, um, that's it, thanks guys for watching.